Hi, it's Carmi and we're looking a little pale today because as you read in the title, I'm going to transform myself into an e-girl because this is a video saying goodbye to 2020. We are so over. Like, I'm not even going to ask people if they are over. I just know we are so over 2020. So I'm going to transform myself into an e-girl because that aesthetic was at the top of the game. I actually scrapped that idea of I was going to transform myself to an, into an e-girl when I had green hair. It was more appropriate, but we're here. I asked my friends on Instagram what questions they want me to answer in a video. I am going to do it simultaneously because I can do it individually but I just love torturing myself. So the first question we're going to answer, we're just going to start off a little simple. Um, what is my favorite hair color? What is the favorite hair color that I did? Uh, I'm going to put it very high. It's kind of like a 80s or 60s, 80s style blush. Because it's high here and then it's gonna be here, it's gonna be here. And the answer to that is actually the pink and violet hair. This would have been my favorite hair color because I actually, every time I do a new color, I love it. It's going to be my favorite because just this is just how it goes. But it's not yet my favorite color because I haven't made a look with it. So after this, it's gonna be my favorite. I'm going to answer this all at the same time because it's kind of similar. How do I stay motivated? How did I go up? Honestly, the things that made me cope with everything that is happening, with all the downs for the people that I love and the this, I just doing this just makes me feel better. Like I actually said this to my friends, I think that making content on my YouTube channel, like I don't really care if how many views it gets, how many likes, but doing this just is a breath of fresh air every time. Like it's tiring and all that. Like not even not even just in my YouTube channel, like in my organization whenever I do oh my god, what is happening here? Um whenever I release content it just makes me so happy like it freshens me up like oh my this is what I love doing other than that my friends they don't really have to do anything and if they do like even the simplest things it just another answer to that is I <laughs> I cry because I don't want to repress or suppress I don't want to bottle things up like if I feel like I, I'm gonna cry, like of course there are still places where I shouldn't cry even if I feel like crying. But whenever I feel like it's everything is heavy, I just I refuse to bottle it up because it's just going to get worse. And that leads us to the next question with it, which is something you would say to people who are constantly disappointed in themselves. One of the things I tell them is if you feel like crying, just cry it out. I encourage them to to express it because the weight on their shoulders will just get heavier if they don't if they don't release it. I encourage them to do things that are not a responsibility. Like it also goes to other situations like it also applies to different situations. It might lead to losing passion in something they are doing. I remind them of how much of an impact they do. See, this is this is a sad thing. It can become toxic in a way or it can be good. It just depends on how you tell a person. Even with myself, I get disappointed in myself and then I get reminded by my friends of how much of a good person can't really see it for yourselves so it's important to reach out to other people so that we would get another perspective 
of who we are and how we are, of how we are doing with life. And us as friends, we can't really bombard them with so many things because they might get overwhelmed. We can't really go past a boundary because that person is still an individual and we can only do so much. But at the same time, let us not neglect their feelings. Um, and another important thing to do is not is to not invalidate what they are feeling. If they are getting disappointed, don't let's not tell them that. Oh, but you are achieving so much, and why are you feeling that way? We can't tell them that. You know, we should always put ourselves in the shoes of others and imagine how it would be if it was us. And honestly, there are a lot of things that I would do or say for the people that are experiencing disappointment in their selves. But that is what comes to mind right now. Quent around how the year went. And oh my god, I feel like I'm not related to this, but I already forgot a lot of things. Just I remember that January to early March was amazing. So. It brought me a lot of things. It brought me towards a lot of people. And goddamn, the uh, January, February, we had a production. So that was fun. It was stressful, but it was fulfilling. I'm just pointing out the most notable things that I remember. March, early March, my friends and I had a swimming party. After that, everything went to scrambles, so I don't remember a lot of stuff that happened from... Oh, of course I remember! I started the, my YouTube channel! And then August, it also answers the other question, which is what hurt me the most. Um, August, we experienced like a really, really down moment for our family. So I'm not. I can't say it because it's too personal. So yeah, it um, really took a toll on us, and we're over it. We survived it. That's the most important part, and we learned a lot from it. So yeah, I also experienced a lot with my. And then another thing is I became part of the core team of our organization, and then. After that, I became part of the executive committee. So that has kept me busy and that also kept me motivated. It was a nice, not distraction, but because you know, it's fun to have something else other than academics. I think a lot of people can relate to that, that work stuff is, are a lot better than the only time I socialized was December and I think I also socialized November with my mom's friends but the only time I socialized with my friends was on my birthday my birthday celebration first things you did in online <laughs> shade I don't know what aspect is being asked but an exam that is obviously not planned like I don't want to specify who that is and what subject that was but he made this it just you know it's so obvious that he didn't really teach us so that's frustrating and and one of the worst things that I did that was triggered by that professor was I fought back I don't really do this a lot but I there are we pay for this. We want to get, be educated. We are here to be educated. I think it's only right to fight back and get what we deserve. And I'm a Gen Z, so I'm going to do something about it. I'm just not. I'm not going to be like, oh, there's something to be changed here, but then not do anything. That is a quality of Gen Z that I really love. And sometimes it goes a little too much. It's not a bad thing. But at the same time, I'm also risking my grades here and 
I don't really want to do that Especially because I don't want to repeat the class I don't want to fail it and then he's gonna be my professor again Ugh. Ew, oh my god, ew I fucked it up, I fucked it up So what is my wish for next year? My wish for next year is we get a better Better government um, as we um, we get the authorities that we deserve Cause Dude, there's something going on for so long Should we just fly to another nation? Is that the solution that they are suggesting? Because what the fuck? What the fuck? So that is the, my wish for next year As we get what we deserve yeah, and that is a better system and a system that will take care of us a system that will take care of its people just make it better please make it better that is my wish okay make my wish come true next question so and then i don't really know what my song items are but i'm gonna link my playlist I am going to link my Spotify playlist in the description box so that you can listen to the to um the things that I listen to so that we can also follow each other and I'm really interested in the things that you guys listen to and don't judge me okay don't don't judge me oh my god I really have to hurry up because after this I have a meeting. They're gonna have to deal with this. Sorry. Story time! Oh my god, it's a pet. Oh my god. No, it's an arrow. Well, it's a hat. That's a TikTok. And then I'm That's a TikTok. Can I just go on? Can I just go your ring light? Cool. And it fell on my nose. And it hurt so bad. And then I sometimes forget. And then I bump it. And it hurt so bad. Oh wow. Nakita niya yun. Wow. Oh my god, ang galing no. Oh my god, ngayon paano ko siya papantayin? Okay, game plan. I hope this works out. I am going to put a little bit of foundation on my... Or not. I'm going to line it. See? I like that better. I like that way better. Because my head is big and I can't have charge. So... So, last question before I fully transform myself because there are a lot of things to do. How's your mental health? Love you. I love you too. <laughs> Parang hindi genuine, pero genuine yan. Nahiya na ako. <laughs> My mental health is all over, all over, is all over the place. Not just because of the things that are happening to me, but because of the things that are happening to everybody. Like, it's just... Like I said earlier, everything is so fucked up, the system is fucked up, and there, there are a lot of people enabling this fucked up system. Personally, I am so excited to get this year over with. The fucked up things I mentioned are not gonna go away any sooner, but at least we are, at least 2020 is over. It is time to leave some things behind. I can't really rest like 100% because I have responsibilities, but I am resting as much as I can. I'm a bit more privileged with time and rest and sleep, so I'm taking advantage of that. I am readying myself for the second semester. A lot is in store for me and for the people around me. The second semester, I have a lot of events planned. I will now do the final touches to my transformation. I'll be back to you. I want you guys. Hindi siya pantay. Huwag na pansin And I want you guys to join me sa paglagay ng last touch natin. Which is... <laughs> which is why am I laughing? It's not funny. Nothing's funny. Which is Jiren. Very eager. Love it. Oh, I'm starting to like this aesthetic. But I'm... No, this is the alternative title for this. This Carmi proves that she's not a mean girl because somebody asked me if I'm a mean girl and 
I love the aesthetic, but I don't think I fit the um, attitude that the girls have. I feel like I'm too soft. Or, I don't know. Fuck. Oh my god. Fuck. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to pull out. This is it. So, yeah. It's the full outfit. We have this going on. I'm going to photo shoot now because I'm late now. I'll show you. 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 I'll show